There's a child, and I don't know why people like this. This is going viral. There's a thing up on the iBank of this young child who's taken a ghost pepper. Now, Chris, you just saw his picture and you started laughing. <laughs> yeah. I have done too many hot pepper shows to even find any of this mildly interesting. I still find it funny when they when these kids eat because the, the ghost peppers are supposed to be the hottest pepper in the world. On the, on yeah. that I've hot, done so many scale. hot pepper shows, right? Yeah. And it always ends the same way. A caller telling us that the person is choking to death that they're listening to, and we better rush them to the hospital. Oh, God. People always try to put that thing in your mind. Um, and obviously, with this ghost pepper, it is so hot that you can, it can start heart problems. Um, I've seen hot stuff before, but if anybody knows about a ghost pe pepper, give me a call with this, because I wasn't aware of it. I do know the teenier the pepper, the hotter the spice. And that looks like a very teeny little pepper. Well, is that the same as the smaller the dog, the bigger the fight? Isn't this uh, a lot of things that people with small penises try to get right. away with? <laughs> it's right. small, but it's very <laughs> spicy. <laughs> the thing is, it's going to hurt you. People with a, uh, with a small penis spend a lot of time coming up with rhymes and <laughs> sayings of why that's good. It's a lot of motion of the ocean. Yeah. Big fellas don't have to come up with anything. Yeah, big fellas are like, I don't know, it's just my dick. I thought everybody was this <laughs> big. big you like dick. it, right? Yeah, just <laughs> a dick. Uh, woke up this morning and some <laughs> band had put bills all over it about a show they got coming this weekend. <laughs> I got to have a separate dick scale, too, so that's a problem. Throws everything off in my life. <laughs> Uh, so, Ghost Pepper, if you know about it, 866-766-0339, 866-766-0339, or hashtag Bennington, or at Bennington Show, because I never saw it hit as fast as it does this kid. He's just eating this tiny Ghost Pepper, and you'll just hear him here. Ghost Pepper it. Challenge, he's not actually going to eat it, but... <laughs> And that's the whole thing. He's screaming so bad. He's holding his little heart. It's horrifying. And his asshole friends are laughing. Yeah. But it's almost like he put a hot coal in his mouth. He did say, he did say, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> I think he called for his mom once in there, too. <laughs> he ate a ghost pepper, dude. That's what happened. <laughs> but I guess you forget because the pain is so fucking intense. You don't remember any life before that pain. Look, I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of spicy food and peppers and whatnot. And like, if I get something spicy and it hurts, I just, I, it's, why would I do this? So if a, that thing happened, i just kill myself. Would you t eat a ghost pepper? No, not, I just watched this little kid crying. No, I'm talking to you. Would you eat a ghost comma uh, pepper? <laughs> oh, definitely. So would you do it for the show? Eat a ghost pepper? Mm -hmm. Yes. Dude, ghost what pepper. do you think we're talking about? I'm not eating a ghost pepper. I'm not crying like that. Little poor child. You're bigger than him. <laughs> There's a lot of things you could do. And they could kill could. you, and then you'll be a ghost pepper. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, here's uh, Turtle. <laughs> yeah, be great. Turtle. From Entourage? Oh, hi, buddies. I wish. Hey, uh, Ron, I've had ghost pepper sauce on two occasions, and it is ridiculously hot. It's possibly the hottest thing I've ever eaten. And uh, it lasts for about 45 minutes. What? 45 yeah, minutes? It, yeah, it was, it was a long, long and very intense burn. What was the purpose of eating it? Uh, you know, it, we went to the bar just to, you know, to get some wings, and we saw they had it, and it was just a, you know, just a goof to try it out. And they came over with the, you know, the waiver and all this other stuff, and don't touch your eyes, and... We thought it was just, you know, kind of a, a gag, but uh, yeah, about ten seconds after you start, it it kicks in and it just escalates. It was the worst thing to happen to you. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. What did but you eat that was worse than that in your life? 
Uh, here's Chad in Tennessee. Hey, it's Scott. Hey, um, they have, they have the sauce called 357, and it's a concentrated ghost pepper sauce. So it's like even stronger than an actual ghost pepper. And I took some and had it on a sandwich on a sub, actually, and then um, put too much on. And powered through it, but about 2 a.m., I woke up, and I thought I had some bleeding ulcer or something, so I had to go to the ER, and they gave me a bunch of medicine to cool it down. They called me an asshole for even uh, putting that much on my sandwich when I told them what it was. Terrible. Um, yeah, it sounds like you were an asshole for <laughs> just everyone ignores. Yeah. They're like, they told me, right. but I ignored them, and you I just, just did it. If you had to sign a waiver to eat this thing. I ain't eating it. No. No, no matter what it is. No. I mean, said I could die, but I said, fuck it. <laughs> All right. Austin says that Chris Stanley is a goddamn moron. A ghost pepper is not the hottest thing in the world. Okay, what is it? Carolina Reaper holds that distinction. <laughs> Why didn't you know that? You know about the Ca Carolina Reaper. I totally overlooked the Carolina Reaper. <laughs> well, you heard about the, the Carolina Reaper. Let's go to Andrew. Andrew, how you doing, buddy? Ronnie? Yeah. Hey, uh, back in the day, Bryant Gumble, I think it was the Today Show, he was being a smart ass to the food guy, you know, one of the food guys showing off these peppers, and he took a full one and popped it in his mouth, and uh, they cut to break. When they came back, they, uh, they said he was on his way to the hospital. Funniest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> he was dying, hysterical. Um, why did he do I'm it? I'm getting Snopes that again. I can't imagine. That he was whipped off to the hospital in the middle of the Today Show. <laughs> um, here's somebody backing you up, Danny in Chicago. Yeah, if you look at the Scoville rating for the ghost pepper, last time I looked, it, it was at the top. But um, just so I've seen that video, and it looked like that kid. I mean, if I put that in my mouth and someone, I mean, anything, they go, don't swallow that, I would have a panic attack too. After you actually did it? You no, know, I, mean, I mean, if I would put anything in my mouth thinking it was whatever, and they say, don't swallow. That was know, that Cheech and Chong thing where he's like, here, eat these, and then he's eating them. He goes, wait, no, not them. And he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you even know how much acid you just ate? <laughs> um, that Today's Show uh, story seems like bullshit. I'm not seeing anything about it. <laughs> it sounds like it. That was an ear bug. Uh, Dan in Detroit. What's up, guys? Uh, yeah, I had this ghost pepper sauce, much like the other caller did in Chicago. They they listed as the hottest wing in the world, so we came in there after a drunken binge on St. Patrick's Day, and we decided we we're going to try this this wing. And um, honestly, it takes about two seconds for that thing to hit your lips, and once it does, it burns like hell. I was trying to drink ranch. I mean, this thing, you shit so much that I think I gave myself a hemorrhoid from this damn thing. It was the Yeah, that's the other thing. thing. You watch that kid later when he's taking his shit. He's got the ghost pepper juice in him. Oh. He's going to be screaming even worse then. Now, I, horrible. I know somebody who completed a ghost pepper challenge. Mm -hmm. Six wings in like, and not a super short amount of time, but it was only six wings. But she said she, her eyes completely just like opened up pouring tears and her nose was just like snot just coming down her nose immediately. She said it was like the second it hit her mouth. Why would you do this to yourself? And why would you then continue like six more to go? She got a t-shirt. You know what? The uh, She did, by the way. She got the girls that you I hang forget. out with, class X. Yeah. <laughs> Pure class. Real class X. Wait, let's get this straight. A girl's eating this and you're afraid to, Stanley? I'm not eating the goddamn ghost pepper. Come on, do the ghost pepper challenge, pepper. Just oh. say, yeah, you'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. All right. Yeah! All, All right. right. That's full commitment. <laughs> All right, we got one. <laughs> there it is. Wow, look at this plan. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, you're going to eat 30 of them. <laughs> what? No, that kid eat one. And while you're doing it, we're shooting you with paintballs. All right, <laughs> so there you have it, folks. Come out and see us next Saturday night. This fucking total <laughs> shot. Just making the guy eat peppers while you scream. <laughs> Just shooting the fucking paintballs. <laughs> My mouth is burning, wire. <laughs> I hate radio. <laughs> you just got shock jack. You got shock jack, motherfucker. <laughs> you know that you're the shit guy on the show when you're just like eating peppers and getting shot in the neck. Right. And then one's telling you, good show, man. Right. That was, that was so funny when everybody was shooting you with paintballs. <laughs> You got it.
There's always some guy on every fucking show. And that's uh, going to be you, Chris. Oh, no. That's you. Really? Here's Rick. Go ahead, Rick. Yeah, uh, we used to make a big batch of barbecue sauce. Uh, and, and in a five-gallon batch, we would put A, one ghost pepper. And we always, we'd only keep it in there for like two, three days, and then we take it back out. And it made five gallons plenty hot. But I watched the guy somehow put his hand on the cutting board where we had diced up this pepper, and he rubbed his eye. And it permanently damaged his eye. We wound up having, we had to go to the hospital for him. This is it poison. Was, yeah, this yeah. isn't food. Yeah, this is a non-food item. You have then. to bur- if you have to burn the things this fucking thing touches. No, it don't. It, no it, one should it, have it anywhere. You're eating seven. It was like a chemical <laughs> burn on his eye. Is, is what the doctor said. He was like, it, we, you know, this is the the and and we still have no idea because like where we kept the, the cutting board and stuff. We only used one cutting board for that one pepper. We wore gloves. We washed the knife immediately. We were really careful with this thing, and I have no idea how that guy did that. All I remember is he was a grown man that was, he he did pee himself, which I don't blame him. He, he, just, he, he stuck his eye, he stuck his face under the sink so hard, he, he cracked his skull with his forehead open because he just went out just to get water onto his eye. Well, I it hope was, you're real fucking happy with this barbecue sauce you came up with. <laughs> hope it's well worth it. Was, it. it. It's great barbecue sauce, <laughs> you know, and, and it's plenty, plenty hot with that one pepper in it. One in five gallons. Yep. And I can't, ima- I can't imagine these people that, and, and the worst part is, my friend that I made the barbecue sauce with started growing ghost peppers because he's like, you know, they're kind of hard to come by. This was years ago. No shit. Well, the stupid plant grows like a weed. Like, yeah. he has a pepper plant as big as an apple tree in his yard now, and he won't go near them. Like he, we don't want anything to do with the backyard. Feed <laughs> me, ghost pepper. And he's, he's like, you know, you want ghost pepper? Fuck no, I don't want ghost pepper. I don't want one. Well, I got like 9,000 of them sitting on this tree that, that just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And when a kid and, goes in his backyard, he eats <laughs> them and dies. Well, well, we got more little kids. All right, thanks. Here's uh, Dan. Go ahead, Dan. Yeah, buddy. It's a uh, similar story, except with a uh, much uh, more sensitive uh, subject. I was actually working with these peppers, washed my hands and everything, uh, went to the bathroom to take a piss, and uh, about 30 seconds after I zipped it up, uh, it was on fire. Like, I couldn't believe, like, how bad the pain was. I was trying to wash it off in the sink, and uh, nothing could get the pain and the fire off my dick. And, and literally, I washed my hands after I used these peppers, but the, uh, the littlest amount of juice or whatever gets in your pores or your skin or whatever and and you can imagine man touching your dick with uh, well, the, pepper hands the last time that we did any kind of hot sauce show it was east side dave jay moore came in poured some down dave's pants right so dave's running around like a maniac screaming but dave really has his his skin is the same as a vagina right, right? his whole body <laughs> so he he was burnt he was he came back because i sent him to the shower place i sent him to the spa i said we gotta send the kid over there just let him take a shower he comes back he, he's still freaking out he pulls his pants down his hat like just third degree burns on his dick and ass oh my god From just fucking sauce nothing else i had to take him to the emergency room i'm like i'm not fucking playing these games yeah with that's you guys insane anymore. that's crazy i mean i i burnt my hands just from cutting jalapenos and those aren't even very hot there was this guy that i know so he gets a he gets a thousand hits of uh orange barrels asset right and they came in these big sheets so he's cutting them and wrapping each sheet each single to sell the singles right so he's sitting there wrapping a thousand of these things next thing you know he's fucking tripping balls the acid had gone through his fingertips and his thumbs into his fucking blood system. He had no structure set up to do this. Didn't know how much acid he had taken. So the entire trip was fucking scary as shit. Oh my God. Because he didn't know, oh, what do I got? Two hits in me or enough to be a thousand hits? Right. 
enough to I'll never come back. Right. Ugh. Chris, are you willing to do ghost pepper in the pee hole, though? Will you fucking ghost pepper? I'm not going to ghost pepper my dick. You know what? Not should never show up on radio. It's not good radio, if right. you want to know the truth. You gotta say yes. Okay, so yes, I will pour ghost mm -hmm. peppers into my dick hole. There you go, dude. <laughs> Much better radio, right? Much better radio. <laughs> um, Wayne. Wayne, go ahead, buddy. Yeah, I, I, I've had a ghost pepper in a sauce before, but uh, I tried this other sauce. is a scorpion pepper sauce. What? Okay. And uh, it, it's 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 way worse than you could ever possibly imagine from a ghost pepper. So you've had both. Yes, I've had both. Yeah. And what's in scorpion pepper sauce? Uh, oh, I'm scorpion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I guess you know. Here's the thing. Why are you eating these weird things? You're a grown man. Well, yeah, yeah, the people that like hot stuff are definitely a different breed. I don't know why. I couldn't tell you, but. But you're saying uh, it's so hot that you don't like it, right? It, 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 well, it, it was good, but it, it's not something that you want to, you know, do a lot of. <laughs> it sounds like it's just hurting you. In the end, it's just, it just, it's just painful, which is why I don't yeah. fucking eat super hot food. Well, do I, just... yeah, well, All right, I just got a thing from Wiki. Yeah. The ghost pepper challenge is on. Oh, Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. Into my dick, too, the yeah. dick parts. Oh, yeah. Part He's not writing about dick. But I, I see no reason that you shouldn't tape one to your piss hole, oh. one to your asshole, <laughs> and then eat three more. And just as you're doing it, yeah. I'm going to have Joe there pushing, pushing into oh, your holes oh, as God. you're eating. Jesus. As you're eating to see what happens. Wiki says we got to to beat the other sh uh, stations. Oh, God. Come on. I'm sweating right now just thinking about the ghost pepper, <laughs> ghost pepper dick asshole mouth challenge. He wants to mic you while you go take a piss, he says. This is great. This is a yeah. great idea. Ghost pepper ATM challenge. I, I think this could be the funny fucking bit, right? Yeah. What if we make ghost pepper urinal cakes and someone's just pissing, <laughs> but that fucking juice is coming straight back up at yeah. him? Backsplash. Yeah. That'll be great for Thanksgiving. Well, here's the thing with Chris. When he comes back and his tongue hurts, but like, you were licking the cake again, weren't you? <laughs> again. It just looks so good. It got me this time. It's the texture. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy that Wiki wants to do this with you. But... I'm so su surprised, but all right. We have to source some ghost peppers. I know, but that won't be the hard part. The hard part's going to be Joe and Dan's job. I didn't even know Dan was in. Yeah. All right, good to hear. <laughs> good, it's a team effort. Oh, yeah. You need one on each end. Ew. Oh, God. I thought we just have them underneath, just going straight up. <laughs> Maybe a guy could put, you take your fucking pants off, yeah. stand on two chairs, and I get him underneath you. <laughs> he's getting dead call an asshole. You're eating it down. Jesus. And then we're just going to start fucking shooting you with paintballs. Don't right. down the paintballs are back in. <laughs> All different colors. <laughs> right. Dude, you ought to do this, man. To fucking make your mark. <laughs> it's going to be rough, but I should survive it, right? Or even if I don't, I'll even go down to this bigger legend. Uh-huh. Yeah. The guy who died with a ghost pet for his dick. <laughs> All right, hold on. Tyler says he's got something that he wants to take the challenge against you. Okay. Go ahead, Tyler. Hey, what's going on, Manningtons? Hey, what's happening, man? Hey, word around the campfire is that Chris Stanley took double anal this past weekend. What? What campfire are you around? There's no double anal into me. <laughs> All right. I'm not getting DP, dude. That's <laughs> it's DP, but one H. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, his asshole's big enough for that. No. Oh. So what? He's born this way. Mm hmm We accept you. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's a loving environment here. Dan in Ohio. <laughs> oh, I, I, I knew two guys that did acid every day. And they dealt it. And when the blotter would come in on sheets, they could tell how good it was by holding the sheets between their hands. Like if you were praying with a with a sheet of blotter before you cut it up, they could tell how good it was. And, you know, when you do it, you can almost tell immediately on your tongue. You feel a tiny little tingle. But so uh, they would have their uh, hands because I never felt a little tingle from anything. Yeah. They would have their hands there, like in prayer, mm -hmm. and they could just feel it moving through their hands. 
Yeah, well, they could tell how good it would be when they got it in like that. Yeah, by how good it was by just holding it between their hands. There's nothing. But they did it every day. They did it every day. Well, For how long? That ability too. <laughs> For how long? Yeah. As long as I knew them, they were doing it. And I knew these guys probably for two and a half, three years. <laughs> okay. You never I stopped trying. I know. I, I wonder what, what you're doing now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they were, they were cooked. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's just their lifestyle. Yeah. Well, it you worked know, for them. Freedom of choice. Yeah, it worked for them. Yeah. They opened up a fucking um, dry cleaning business. Yeah. And now i got 32 of them. <laughs> right. Yeah. They've never opened the doors, though. They just fucking sit inside. <laughs> just all fucking tripped out. Testing acid. Yeah. Prayer pose. Acid. Well, that's a good one. Um, all right, so you're in. Do you want to be tripping when you do this? You know what? Might as well. All right. I think it'll help things for right? you. I mean, it, it might as well, since I'm going to begin, you know, I'm going to get my dick and asshole <laughs> inserted with. I don't even know why you brought that up. That's the weirdest thing. That's the part I'm thinking about a lot. <laughs> a lot? Like, you know, you're turning like, me on? Okay. No, not turning me on, no. Of the three holes, which are you the most concerned of? The dick hole is what I'm most <laughs> concerned of. That would be the, the obvious one. I'm worried about my dick hole getting a... I don't think there's anything obvious about any of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not obvious Hasn't come me. up before. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, I'm thinking, what if, what if they have to put a tube in my dick <laughs> afterwards? <laughs> Joe, Joe in Virginia. Yes. Um, have you guys seen the video of this Indian lady that takes the uh, boot chavokia or uh, ghost pepper and she squirts the juice in her eyes and yeah. rubs it all over her face? Let me tell you, that sounds like Stanley. He fucking squirts the juice in his eyes and all over his face. Yep. Stuff. That's gonna You're be used to it. Fucking loves it. That's going to be me after this ghost pepper yeah. challenge. Then you got a little bit for the fucking bunghole. He's just, <laughs> Come on, work it all. Work all the genitals. Yeah. Well, I guess this tribe uh, worship that pepper for... They're going to be worse for me before. after I'm fucking done with this. Uh, I'm sure they would, yeah. <laughs> but uh, they, they, we just discovered it, I guess, within the last five or six years. But uh, this small tribe, I guess, just rubs the shit all over their face. And all right, why were all talking, their eyes. Like, we were just doing the thing about, <laughs> go, like, shooting in his face <laughs> and all that, and then on his asshole. So your aunt just wrote to me, Yum. And I'm like, what, <laughs> what the fuck? She just texts me yum, right? And then sends a picture of them eating the cheesecake. So they're not listening to this right. show. No. <laughs> it was not yum to that. I'm good. I'm glad. I'm like, what? <laughs> so the, the cheesecake came through. Yeah, the losing cheesecake that I had. Fuck, I hate losing like that to a child. I like winning stuff, you know? I know. Would you have shared that key lime pie with me? Yeah, 100%. Yes. Just like Pepper's going to share those ghost peppers with his own asshole. No. <laughs> you guys want some? <laughs> Can't stand anymore. Now, you're most concerned with the pee hole, but yeah. are you most confident about the butthole? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, he is. Be fine. See, here's the thing. Rock his, solid. His pisser fucking burns anyway every time he goes. <laughs> From something that he picked up down on the fucking wharf. <laughs> something happened to him down the wharf. You know, things got crazy one night, or a few nights in a row, I might say. Oh, Jesus. What's that? You have no way to talk your way out of it. You started into it. <laughs> I talked my way into it. Right. But you didn't head for a punchline, nothing. Wharf sex, wharf sex is what I had. Just consensual <laughs> group wharf sex. Um, here's uh, Adam. Uh, hey, Ron. What's up, Bennington? Hey. Um, oh God, I'm laughing so hard. You made me forget what I was gonna say. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> um, there was a time in my life where I wanted to be a police officer, and one of the things they taught us about was uh what pepper spray is made of, and it's that capsaicin that's in all those peppers that makes them so spicy. And uh, it's crazy that the buccalokia is, is is like half as strong as uh, as pepper spray is, but still people eat it. It's terrible stuff. My father-in-law bought uh, tortilla chips once that uh, had ghost peppers on them, and they were terrible, but, uh, man, they were fun to pass around and not tell people what they were eating. We used to do a thing where we would uh, pepper spray our interns all the time, you know, like during the show. Like we would take them outside and pepper them. 
And uh, I don't know. It seemed like it was funny at the time. <laughs> so we were on location at Universal Studios. And we were in the park, you know, 6 o'clock in the morning before the park even opens. So uh, I, th I guess it was Flipper. Take him outside, pepper spray his face, ah, bring him back in. People from the park coming over like, we can't open up the doors because this place still stinks like fucking pepper spray. And we kept the park from being opened on time. My people were outside and they were all pissed off. And and they start to, you know, the, the people around the park were yelling at us. And, they're like, and I said to them, I go, I think there's people could easily walk through that pepper spray. What's the big deal? It was like an hour ago. It's a place for children. Because they didn't really want it. Because they didn't really want to get in that park. Yeah, it'd be part of the fun. Run through the pepper spray. And <laughs> I'm really excited about this pepper challenge. I think it's going to be fun. You think you'll have fun? I'll probably be in a lot of pain. I'll tell you, this is something about Stanley today. He turned into the, a proper fucking pussy. Don Wicklin. <laughs> Don Whitland brings us some hot peppers for Chris to eat on the air. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Chris turns them down. He did. He Even said after it. on the air, or at least yeah. last week, you said how you could eat hotter peppers than him and everything else. And the second it came up, he's like, not really. I really don't like hot. <laughs> Didn't think he'd actually bring the peppers. Well, why say things? Because I was just talking shit. You knew he had the ability to bring the peppers. I, I can only think of one other time in my life when uh, Chris let me down. What's that? Why would you want people to know? Oh, here? good point. <laughs> Do you you know, right? <laughs> yes, tell I me, know. Tell me. <laughs> She's still having a great oh, time. Sure she is. <laughs> Sorry. Of course she is. She's remembered daily. <laughs> Joe, what about you? Are you a pepper eater? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I love hot food. You mm. do? Yeah. All right, switch out with Stanley. Come on in here. All and, right. And um, Stanley, take the yeah. walk of shame. Oh. Uh, where are the peps at? I got him. Let me go get the pep. He also has some fresh basil for us. I'll eat that. <laughs> mm. I'll just put that in my cocktail and see how it is. Did we have a tomato in the oh, it smells just like in that bag. It smells incredible. That is amazing. It smells so good. What is it about fresh that's the greatest thing in the world? Look, these are just jalapenos, but he says because they're fresh, they're hotter than you would think. They're even hotter. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god! So take a big oh, what we wanted Stanley to do bite out of that. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Nice and crunchy. Oh, it's got a good snap. So far, so good. Okay. Are you chewing oh. seeds though? You got to get the seeds. You sure? You sure? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's where the excitement oh, yeah, level that's is. The heat. Are you getting any heat? Yeah, I am. <laughs> getting hotter. It's plateauing. <laughs> now it's getting hotter. <laughs> now it's plateauing. And it's down. <laughs> All right. See? Those were pretty hot. <laughs> but I eat these like a champ because I grew up eating these. Now, too. Stanley, you just got fucking played by Joe. Yes, I did. Now I feel like a real bitch. <laughs> you want to eat one? He's eating it like an apple. If He's Joe ate one, it. then I'm going to eat one now. Yeah. I'm going to say I did somebody grab one for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't hear you behind the glass <laughs> yeah. over there. <laughs> And he's going to give me a pepper now. What? I can't hear anything that you're saying. Sorry. Nothing? Hello? Mm -hmm. pepper, Hello? Pepper. And a pepper! <laughs> Can anyone hear me? All My right. name is Pepper. S since Chris can't hear us right now, it's actually really hot. I downplayed it for Pepper so that he wouldn't be scared. Now, <laughs> is there dead air there? I don't know why people like to eat hot things. It's always confusing to me. I just you keep like smelling, basil? yeah, the basil, there's mint in there, there's rosemary. It looks like fucking one pound of weed, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. That's what I thought it was when you he like pulled it out. you like fresh herbs at home? I do, yeah. Big time. We should divide this. I, we will. It's only fair. It's only fair to, to us. All right, here's the pepper. All right, pepper for pepper. <laughs> you got to oh, bite so into crunchy. it, too, where the seeds are. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll join you, Pepper. Why would you do that? <laughs> Is it that hot? Yeah, it's fucking hot. What the fuck? It's pretty hot. He's gagging. He's dry. Even. Well, spit it. Don't fucking try to swear. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, he just spit. He just... It's on fire. My mouth's on fire, Joe. What the fuck? Can't stand well, these the little tomatoes would help you. 
Get some candy. Give me tomatoes. Well, I already have them taped, though. <laughs> no, they're untaped. Those are taped. <laughs> you can tape them out of the tape. <laughs> UConn, give me those goddamn tomatoes. Mother I don't understand. I think that if people eat hot things, I think it ruins the taste buds. Oh, yeah, it's going to kill. I, you know, yeah, it does. Milk. <laughs> it's a vegetable. It's a... <laughs> I can't hear you. I'm very confused right now. <laughs> Tony Trump Put that in the trash can. Don't hold it in your hand. Ew. Give me a trash can, someone. He's but this is a jalapeno pepper. What's the hottest pepper in the world? It isn't jalapeno, right? It's got to be this one. It's supposed to be ghost. Yeah, ghost, ghost pepper. pepper. But the thing is, um, he says that his are hotter because they're fresh. Anthony's mm-hmm. literally running down the hall right now to pepper. To where? <laughs> to get uh, pepper water. No, don't have don't water. Get it's what do I need? What do I need? The tomato, tomato. or milk. Rye bread. No rye bread. Milk. <laughs> get, Chris, get your rye bread. This got to be rye- right. No water, Anthony. That's the worst thing. Pepper, it spreads it. It spreads it. It spread it. Don't do it. He got me milk. Or should I drink water first? I don't know. Yeah. No, Put some sugar milk. in there. I'm gonna yeah, dr- I got to drink this better now. Oh, spicy milk. <laughs> oh, it's disgusting. All right. It's, it's pepper milk. You want to beat fuck? that? One more pepper. No. One more. Come on. You, you know could do it. Pepper, I'm going to finish gonna... mine right now. He's been Congratulations, there. Joe. How does Joe eat it like it's a nice snack? I eat a jalapeno every day. Because he's fucked in the head. But this is hot? Yeah, it's pretty hot. Would you say it's no. hotter than a normal jalapeno? Um, You know, since it's my boss's boss, yes. <laughs> By the way, it isn't just your boss's boss, it's, it's your, your boss. Your boss. And my when boss, he comes too. in, he's your boss. That's true. There's seeds just stuck in my mouth. I keep finding more. <laughs> oh. More peppers? No! Come on, Janice enjoys it so much. Why, why don't you like it? Because it's fucking hot. But the other day and you said you liked hot. I was talking shit. I was talking out of my ass. Okay? Because I enjoyed doing that. And I didn't want to pay up for this. That's so why. We haven't even hit that part yet. I just look uh, at Aunt and he's going like this. He's loving it so much. He's why? His hands over Aunt, need more milk. Seriously. Do you want, say you want that. get ice cream? Would you rather have a yoo I love a yoo <laughs> Unrelated, he would love a you who. Right, your name can't be Pepper anymore. That's a stupid name for you. Yes, it is. Yeah, it can be a felf sprout. Oh, Fuck you. Snap. Fuck you, Minnesota. See, that's how he gets. He's mm-hmm. a he's a, a, he's Mr. a mean, Hyde. yeah, he's a mean hot pepper guy. I'm a Dr. Hyde pepper guy. <laughs> hey, Dr. Hyde. Guys, just... I know I know I'm playing it cool right now, yeah. but my ears are on fire. Really? Why are you playing it cool? Um You want I... some milk? Nah, I'm good. Are you sure you don't want You milk? want a tomato? Yeah, I'll take a tomato. You can take that uh, off. It's not going to be a sweet. I'm crying. <laughs> Give him two of those little tomatoes. It just like Look, clears this, out the sinuses. He said this is all out of his garden in one day. Man, I love a garden. I know. I mean, I don't want to take care of one, but I like to eat out of them. You'd like to walk among your yeah, food. I like to, yeah, I like to walk among them. You know, and, but I would like third world people to be taking yeah. perfect care of it. Eat things right off the vine. Yeah. <laughs> like just walk around with a, a well, he's really... putting together salad out there. Everything hurts I in my mouth. The... He's bringing a whole quart for him. Yeah, for me. That's right. You want some milk? Uh, I'll take some later. Pepper tomato? Yeah, please. <laughs> I'm going to put a couple pepper seeds on it for you. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> so peppery. Do you I want another one? Peppers are no. the hottest peppers. Gays. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> All right, make sure you finish that now because you're just. Oh my god, that is. Is not that gonna... everybody's milk for coffee? <laughs> yeah, does that come it's coffee from? milk. That's what... It's coffee milk. That's for everybody. It tastes good though. It tastes good right now. <sighs> Fucking jalapenos. <laughs> they could suck my dick. Fucking come terrible. On, no, I'm seriously, hard they hard. could. I mean, it would hurt. Get a mustard seed your dick hole. These are really Come hot jalapenos, too. Yeah, they're really fucking hot. Really fresh, not processed. No, they're right out of his garden. It makes them worse for the pain. Now, I've had a um, jalapeno burn just from cutting jalapenos, like just the acid sure. on my skin. Horrible. I, I can't imagine what you're experiencing. 
then again, you guys chose to do it. Yeah, he begged me. Bob. Yeah, 24 hours from now, Stanley's going to want a popsicle to shove up his ass because that's going to burn, burn, burn. That's bad stuff. Hey, we got any popsicles in there? In a fresh, hot fresh out. Fresh out. Later, boys. You got any butt pups? Where, where do you keep your butt pups out? There's none. It's pretzel rots. <laughs> Put it in the freezer and show Good it. Good idea. <laughs> you need some salt on that. You want another pepper now to see what happens? No, I, my mouth is Come fucking on. burning and I'm crying. It's getting worse. I know, but here's what my question is. Yeah. If you eat another pepper, will it be twice as hot or the same amount of hot that lasts longer? Or does it? Or is it like pepper times a pepper? Yeah. Or is it that you have a milky base and you're, you'll be fine? I didn't or even think about your milky base. It could be two <laughs> negatives equal a positive and it won't burn at all. It'll actually be too sweet in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I, I doubt it'll be sweet because I'm crying. Because I ate it fucking 15 minutes ago. Oh, I, I, thought, I chugged half a gallon of milk. Oh, I thought you were crying because that other disloyalty thing you just remembered. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. That doesn't bother you, huh? I know. No, it does. But I'm just concentrating on the pepper pain right now. Well, don't worry. When I fuck up your bonus, you'll start crying. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what terrible. are you eating a tomato for, Gail? You didn't need any peppers. I just thought it looked so delicious. They're, they're pretty good, though, They're too. really good. Yeah. Really of course sweet. they are. Mm. Little cherry tomatoes. So good. I bet they're better than these peppers. Uh, John <laughs> wants to... Uh, Wants to take on Joey Jojo. Go ahead, John. Hey, buddy. I used to be uh, just like Joe, but uh, now I've got uh, two ulcers and uh, diverticulitis. And my, I got that in my 30s and whatnot. But, uh, and that's well, from eating hot stuff? Yeah. And if you, uh, if you want to see Joe run around like Hex is doing right now, give him. It's called a Hominero pepper. It's a, it looks like a bigger pepper, so it'll fool you. But it makes a hum, the jalapeno seem like nothing. And if you give him a raw habanero pepper, you will see him run around. And if Hicks wants to put out the fire, a wedge of lemon will put the fire right out. But it's a, it's like a sickness. You get like a high from it. You know, once you're on fire, you love it. You keep going, and the sweat's coming out of your hair, and you get a rush. You get that hair sweat. Oh yeah. <laughs> Kind of yeah, feeling it's it. disgusting, but loving the new show, buddies. Yeah, it is great. Stanley's got a nice short haircut now, too. I know. Yeah. It looks good. You got uh, a Don cut. You think? Yeah, you and Don Twinsies. look the same today. Yeah. I'll Maybe wait. that's why you both love peppers so much. No, just one of us loves peppers. <laughs> I dislike them. I love you, Pepper. Aww. Oh, that's so sweet. Thanks for nothing, Joe. <laughs> Gay love. You know, he really cares about you. Okay. Why are you rubbing your eyes right now? No. You're so it's, stupid. Don't do that. He's, he's yeah, just yeah. the floor. Your eyes are going to burn. He just rubbed his eyes. He's flushing it with water. <laughs> he's getting water all over the book. Why, Chris? I just looked over and he was like, <laughs> Both hands. like a cartoon he's down baby. On the ground. He's tired. <laughs> he's so like, dumb. <laughs> Why did you do that? Why would you ever do that? Now you're going to have to flush it with the milk. And plus, you have to drive right now. <laughs> Get in the car. He won't even come back to the mic. He He's can't. down on the knee. He can't. He's on the ground He's, in there. Uh, all I can see him is through this monitor, and yeah. he's just on the ground. I can't even see him. He's out of frame. He is. Uh, he he's, burned his eyes by rubbing it with that pepper. I think you should milk that eye. Water's just going to spread. Put some eye milk in there, buddy. <laughs> Ew. Um. Butch in California. Hey, what's going on, man? Yeah, what's up? Chocolate actual neutralize the heat of the pepper in your mouth, and it'll also help out afterwards in your stomach and when it goes to the bathroom. All right, so a little bit of chocolate, a little lemon, a little chocolate lemon milk. Any milk? Yeah, milk, milk is bad. Milk Let's is try bad. to make this, the bad. word milk sound as disgusting as we can. Milk, milk, milk. Big old glass of milk. Pepper is, uh... He is really down for the count. He's over the garbage can now. His eyes or his... His uh, eyes. He was rubbing his eyes. Why? I don't know why he did it. Stanley, why? Why'd you do it? They fucking forgot about the goddamn <laughs> peppers. That's why. Fuck. <laughs> you want some milk for your eyes, buddy? Or some chocolate? Some lemon? I got milk. 
I think don't put milk in your eyes. <laughs> put milk in your gullet. <laughs> don't blow do your it. nose. Don't. That's what you need to do. Blow your nose. It kind of opens your eyes up a little more. <laughs> oh no, he's really in trouble. Yeah, he's just gonna have to ride it out at this point. Yeah, you're riding the storm out. There's yeah. not a lot you can do. You gotta yeah. ride the snake. Yeah, the, the ancient snake to the lake. <laughs> The West is the best. That's you, Chris. Chris, the blue bus is calling us. Driver, where are you taking us? <laughs> look at Anthony. He's just He's running He's just everywhere. running. Annie no, thinks this kind of shenanigans makes us look crazy here. I know. Uh, he has a vial of something. I don't know what that is. Don't put crazy stuff in your eyes. Yeah, be careful with your eyes. What's he putting in? I see a vial of something, and he's putting his eyes. Probably in Visine. Me... You going with Visine? Eye drops, yeah. That'll just make the pepper bur- juice burn. Oh no! Can't see out my left eye. <laughs> Do you... Why did you rub it? Because I fucking forgot. It. I wasn't thinking. When you have pepper juice on your hand, uh, you can't rub your eyes. I know now that now. Oh, I'll tell you this. No. Don must feel proud of his peppers. <laughs> He's loving every minute of this. He is loving every minute of it. He's just pouring that stuff. Maybe we just need to tell him a sad story and he'll cry it all out. That's a oh, good idea. Do a lot of blinking, Chris. I'm not kidding. If you blink, you're going to create more tears. Blink a lot. Wait, clench your butt cheeks together. <laughs> Mine was real, Chris. <laughs> Actually blink a lot. That should help you. Hold your hands over your head. All of these ideas are hey, good. Hey, get some pictures of him doing this so we can put it up. Put his eyes up. Uh, I know in the Blue Apron, where I happen to be an expert chef, mm-hmm. uh, they are constantly tell you to wash your hands. Immediately, yeah, yeah. after handling Peppers. any hot pepper. Especially the seeds. Yeah. You know, you got to wash your hands immediately because you will forget. He washed his hands on his eyes. <laughs> it's not where you do that. And why would uh, why would Don even want to uh, you know, grow something this hot? I know. It's part of the pride. I feel. Uh, is our buddy Pit Doc? How are you, Doctor? Was I in that same room four days ago and said about peppers rubbing your eyes and going blind? Yes. Yes, you were. I was just thinking that. Well, first of all, it put a lot of water in, pizza, uh, in Chris's eye. Or, uh, wrong, not Chris's anymore. It's Pepper Hicks again. Put a lot of water in his eyes. It irrigate him very well for the next Go down minutes. to the bathroom, Chris, and splash water on your eyes. Yeah. All right, Ronnie. All Thanks, right. Pit Doc. Talk to you later, Pit Doc. Bye-bye. He just sat around telling you, because he has people upstate New York, uh, touching certain plants and then touching their eyes. Yeah, and he said some of these really hot peppers, you can blind yourself. It's horrible. Shouldn't it exist. Huh? Shouldn't be a thing. Shouldn't it exist. How you doing now, Chris? A lot better? A lot of pain in that left eye of mine. Here's what you need. What's that? A little pepper to take your mind no, off. No, no, no. Is that going to help? <laughs> Think of severing my hand, so I set stumps, <laughs> and so then I will not Did be. You wash your hands good now. Yeah, I, I I put water all over my hands. Oh, because well, that... I was gonna have you go down and use the bathroom first, see what happened. Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh no! I feel like I'm contaminated now that I can't touch anything or do anything. I feel like there's pepper juice everywhere. You do need to soap though, soap and water, not just water. It's only it... gonna spread that heat. Is uh, not in your eye though. Not Don't in your eye. In your hand. You got to talk to him like you're talking to an infant from another planet. Hen- did you say hentai? <laughs> what a maroon! <laughs> Please make sure you do that before you go to the bathroom. Please. And touch your eye. Good thing we got Anthony there. I know he's just being such a nice little mother hen in there. I'm he's a godsend. <laughs> um. Kevin, South Carolina. Hey, I, I love hot foods, and I've done what he's done. Uh, I recommend that he rinse his eyes out with Tito's vodka. Smart idea. Good idea. Is there anything it can't do? That reminds me. we got to take a break right now. Can you see enough to send us the break? <laughs> I'm getting it together. Hold on. Great. Hold on. <laughs> All right. I think, they, I think I'm going to send us the break, yeah. Right back. It's the Bennington Show. 
It's the Bennington Show. Just had Chris Stanley with his face in the toilet, washing oh, yeah. out his eyes. Disgusting. You look like someone punched you in your yeah. left eye right now. Yeah, it looks, it's bruised. It's it's bruised with fire. Did yeah. you put a picture up on Twitter? Um, uh, Antony took it. He should be sending them over. He took us, he took a bunch of pictures. Well, what's he waiting for? Antony used the internet to send pictures. Use your skills, your internet skills. And you really look like you got punched. It yeah. is a it's, little swollen. It's bad. He got punched, but from the inside. Yeah. <laughs> By fire and heat. Yeah, fire and heat. It's weird how, like, for a second, it feels like it could go really wrong. Oh, yeah. Like, you could start choking. Oh, there was a and moment then, But there. I'm like, this is food. You can't have problems with food. This is technically edible. Stanley, hot peppers. No. Bennington is in the house. <laughs> He's going to ghost peppers, y'all. Just squeezed into my eyeballs. So excited about ghost pepper day. It's Chris Stanley and his... Shock jock stunts. <laughs> Today he's going to rub more peppers in his eyes. It was really exciting for me. It was like my first shock jock moment. It was a shock jock thing. We're like, hey, how'd you like some piss on you? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Ninth caller gets the piss on our producer. <laughs> you guys are amazing. <laughs> so amazing. Like one day I turned on and they were all pissing on each other. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Where's my arbitrage book? I just want to write it up. I can see how it's addictive, though. I think you guys are so great. <laughs> <Dude. laughs> Yesterday, that pepper thing fucking blew me away. Boop, dude. Boop, dude, I didn't know you like shock jars. Oh, yeah, man. Old school style. I'll be there for you because I'm done wicky wickling. <laughs> I, I think I heard him sing that to me once. <laughs> By the way, he gave us fresh spices from his garden yesterday. Mm -hmm. I herbs. took them home and my herbs. chick, yeah, herbs and spices. My chick was like, oh my God, this can go into our Italian foods. So she was great. so excited. So was And like cherry tomatoes as well. Organic. Yeah. Mm hmm. He, but spray he just gave it to us in a big bag like we fucking copped the half of LB. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looked like a giant bag of weed it did. as he handed it to it us. It looked like a happy bag of weed. <laughs> you ever <laughs> say that? This looks like a happy bag. <laughs> We're like, all this happy. Is a sad bag. Look how little it is. I just have it in the corner. Cheer that bag up. Cheer that bag up. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Hmm? Gail and I are both Blue Apron trained. Mm -hmm. So That's right. this week I went off. I went back and found old Blue Apron menus, right? Since, uh, you know, my food comes in tonight. And I did stuff going out and purchasing it myself and cooking. I've done that multiple times yeah. where, I, like, I use an old recipe. You came over once and I did, like, a chili. And I yeah. reused that recipe. It's awesome. Yeah, it's so, fantastic. So it it's teaches so you and it feeds you. Both. Well, it not only teaches you, but it changes your palate. Where you're not like, look, I don't want to sit around and do what I call a Michelle lousy meatloaf. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but that hits home, but yes. <laughs> Kids, there's meatloaf again. Is and something Michelle? greenish next to it. Again? The hell is going on? Spinach, guys. House? It's spinach. What did you say, son? <laughs> the hell's going on in this household? Oh, uh, darling, I'm worried about our son's throat. It just sounds <laughs> terrible. It's because all this meatloaf. <laughs> He just sounds like a small gay Rod Stewart. <laughs> I heard that. I'm straight. Why would you be talking that way as a child? Why would you be talking that way? Is that your child's voice? It's a grizzled child's voice. <laughs> I'm six. You want to stab me? <laughs> Is like, the baby on fire? Because that's what it sounds like. It sounds like it, it caught fire. It's burning. <laughs> that kid is haggard as hell. Yeah, he's been through a lot. <laughs> Missing an eye. <laughs> Not an well, eye my cooking will do that. <laughs> no, but you should. No, you no because you got little kids and they don't want to. They don't you know, eat. They don't they, if, unless it has ketchup on it. It's not going down. <sighs> yeah, they put ketchup on it. That's another thing. If I was president, I think I'd get rid of ketchup. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. There's uses. Uh, yes, all horrible. <laughs> Did the uses destroying <laughs> food? Hamburgers. Okay. Yeah, I put it on the hamburger. Yeah. Ugh. What? French now, do, fries? Do you make it? Oh, uh, no. French fries is like, I don't want this, this to taste like potato. Whatever you put ketchup on tastes like ketchup. 
And this is what happens. The hot sauce people are the same way. They're like, gotta have my hot sauce. Keep it in my pocket. I'm like, because you fucking destroyed your taste buds. It's killing me. Everything I want everything. To say nothing. <laughs> I want everything to taste hot like hot sauce. <laughs> ah, I don't, this hot sauce, Bob. It's hurting me. <laughs> oh. So these assholes were eating fucking Don's peppers yesterday, oh. right? So. Chris is crying like a, a baby. Joe is doing the uncool radio thing of just taking it all the time. Just like, Let's go. You know, but he's like huffing and puffing and sweating. And Stanley's acting like a fucking serious, like, a, like he got fucking maced. It hurt. So then he touches his eyes no! with his yeah. pepper hands. You yeah, I, and Gail was, my eye. I was watching him do it. I saw him through there, and it was like slow motion. <laughs> he started like cartoon rubbing his eyes. Yeah. Oh, Why? Because like, you were sweating? Because yeah, because the sweat was pouring down off me. Oh. So, I, so like that, it was. It wasn't even like the inside of my hand. It was the outside of my fucking finger, and it still oh. fucking hit. It, and, and as soon as it fucking touched. It as soon the fucking <laughs> yes, the fire started burning oh in the goodness. corner of my eye oh, and no. I fucking dropped. Okay, you're not on a witness stand telling us about a murder. You're a guy who fucking pepper banged his own eye. You're an idiot. <laughs> yeah. No, Plus here's the salt a, combo. Gail actually did this when she was looking at him. <laughs> and everything uh, you know was slow mo and it was just like those like you see pepper start to explode and the guy was just being knocked back <laughs> uh. the wake of his anger and paint <laughs> he was down just flushing his eyes out in the bathroom where other people are you know pissing he says that <laughs> Why won't you stop? <laughs> like a businessman are looking over. That's yeah. odd. This is an odd place. I don't think we're going to do business here. No, you should start the business here. <laughs> I'm going to tell Scott this deal's not going Don't through. Mind me. It's just the fire in my eye. <laughs> While he's pouring milk, a I gallon know. of milk Did down he his do throat. The milk yeah. too? Oh, that's yeah. adorable. Pepper no. milk. Yeah, it was peppery milk. But the pepper in the eye dropped you. Like he was on the ground. He was yes. screaming it's and very wailing. Painful. Yeah. I don't think it was that big a deal. <laughs> I think it made a bigger deal of it. Did you Let's have any it. of the pepper? Huh? Did you eat the pepper? No. I'm yeah, not. you're not you're pretty smart. No. I'm not a fucking idiot. I'm not gonna just first of all, the other day he's like, I'll eat any pepper he has. <laughs> And then the pepper shows up. He's like, is this hot? Because if it is, I'm not eating it. Didn't think like, he would come through doing? with them. You already said on the air you would eat the pepper. You made the statement on the air. I know. I was just talking shit. That's all it was. You probably had 1,200 and tweets. You have to eat the pepper. I had nothing to back it up with. Besides pain. You rub some in your eye. That's never a good idea. No. It's terrible. I tell you who I'm impressed with. And that's our new... Announcer, Yukon Cornelius. He may be the best pipes in the business. Unmasked with Barry Crimmins and Bobcat Goldthwait is happening Wednesday, July 29th at 3 p.m. at the Series XM Studios. Their documentary, Call Me Lucky, premieres in New York City Friday, August 7th at the IFC Center. Go to theibang.com for a chance at free tickets. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow, beautiful. That's fantastic. Beautiful. Feel safe. <laughs> So he's I, always holding you in his arms as he says it. I wish that we could put him together with women who don't think they can get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, I, if I was a doctor, I'd like, before we give in to adoption, there's one more chance we have. What's that? It's a young buckaroo from upstate New York. <laughs> Something about him. I mean, this kid just sweats just. I think, he, I think he could be the key to everything that we're working on here. <laughs> Now, if you compare that to what Stanley was doing earlier, sure. with, yeah. you know, people that want to come out to Unmasked is a great show that everybody's going to like. Wednesday, What's that, Miss? Unmasked. You can go over to the iBang right now and get tickets for Unmasked. Very crimmy. It's a week away. Bob can't go away. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris Stanley. I want to talk to you about something called comedy. Come out and have a wink going on math. Now you might think yourself, somebody taking a math off. No, 
and I. <laughs> Spot on. I miss it. <laughs> Stanley, you're so close. <laughs> he just gets closer to people. Here, have some of these cookies. I baked them myself. I don't want them. Please. Just stop talking. That toe house. Toe house? Toe house cookies. <laughs> and you put your toe in the house and off it goes on Mac. With bad grammar and Bob got goes way. Kids, get away from those cookies. <laughs> Stand for the people that are going on math. Kids, get away from those cookies. My husband takes me out to see a show and that shows all he's on math. <laughs> I'm wearing a house dress. You don't realize that you talk that way? I never <laughs> never caught that. No, you can it's tell. Dead on. This is something that's very true of our show. I want everyone, I'm not going to bring it up again after today, but everyone else, you can tell when we're getting to the next, as Chris starts to lay down mm -hmm. more, you get so exhausted by the end of these shows. Once Stanley is horizontal, you know. Well, I'm not <laughs> sleep much. <laughs> not getting the kind of rest I've been walking for. That's why I take these. Little Benny Madisons. <laughs> little Benny Madisons. They come in a tiny little thing. <laughs> I can take it. Eight o'clock at night and sleep three days. Is this a, <laughs> is this a live read? <laughs> live read. I'm Chris Stanley with the latest live read. I'm easy to get along with, but don't give me a hot pepper. I'll end up putting the juice in my eyes, having a bad day from it. <laughs> but well, just go into like do your live read out of nowhere for it. Okay, uh, for um, for Tate House for anything. Oh, no. for anything Unmasked that... with Barry Crimmins and Bob Cat Kelly. He's trying to be badass now. <laughs> Lean all over it. Unmasked. When do you ever show that kind of heat? <laughs> all the time. All right. <laughs> Unmasked with Barry Crimmins and Bobcat Goldthwait. It's happening Wednesday, July 29th at 3 p.m. at the Sirius XM Studios. The documentary, Call Me Lucky, premieres in New York City Friday, August 7th at the IFC Center. Go to theibang.com for a chance to win free tickets. What kind of cookies are going to be there? Don't know. <laughs> She's on tone. How? Uh, uh, uh. Mighty Mighty. That's cookie show. Stay. <laughs> It's a tone house. Here's the thing, Gil. You find this funny. Stanley doesn't at all. You must find it funny, Stanley. You must. I didn't know what I sounded like that. <laughs> I didn't know. Well, are you taking it personal? You're like, <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I talked that way. That's it. <laughs> that's, me. that's my regular He's like, I voice. guess that's the truth. I guess that's me. It's uncanny. No, okay. Don's not here. We can smoke in here. Oh, thank fuck. Thank fuck. <laughs> That's his way. That's where you take cursing. He has a way with words. <sighs> yeah, grunting him. Chris, we got anything we need to plug? Barry Crimmins and Bobcat Goldthwait unmasked. Happening Listen, a week now from now. He's to trying to be mm -hmm. the other guy. Trying to drop it down, deep. get that bass. Happy a week from it's today. All about that bass. About that bass. When about that bass. Wednesday, July 29th at 3 p.m. at the SiriusXM studios. Go to theinterrobang.com for a chance at free tickets. Unmasked with Barry Crimmins and Bobcat Goldthwait is happening mm. Wednesday, July 29th at 3 p.m. at the SiriusXM studios. Their documentary, Call Me Lucky, premieres in New York City Friday, August 7th at the IFC Center. Go to theibang.com for a chance at free tickets. It's nice to have someone do wow. that properly. You know what I mean, Chris? No, I did it properly. I, I did it. You did it awful. To hear it back to back like that. Yeah. Can I try again then? Sure. Unmasked with Barry Crimmins and Bobcat Unmasked Goldthwait. With Barry Crimmins and Bobcat Goldthwait <laughs> is happening Wednesday, July 29th at 3 p.m. at the Sirius XM Studios. Their documentary, Call Me Lucky, premieres in New York City Friday, August 7th at the IFC Center. Go to theibang.com for a chance at free tickets. You know, wow. he, no, he interrupted me because I was going to do it even you better out than of the that. Water. He did blow you out of the water. No, he didn't. Like, you couldn't even hang in that moment. No, look. look. Yeah, I'll, the fact that uh, you stopped and he kept going is what, who proves who's king of the fucking hill. Yeah. And, but here's the yeah. thing. It's not only a king of the hill. Sometimes we need a deuce of clubs, <laughs> and that's you. No, I'm not You're the, the deuce, deuce of clubs. No. 
That's no longer a role for you, Chris. It's one of the many roles being taken. <laughs> no, I like that role. Unmasked with Barry Crimmins and Bobcat Goldthwait is Unmasked happening. with Barry Crimmins and Bobcat <laughs> Goldthwait is happening Wednesday, July 29th at 3 p.m. at the Sirius XM Studios. Their documentary, Call Me Lucky, premieres in New York City Friday, August 7th at the IFC Center. Go to theibank.com for a chance at free tickets. That's what I was going to say. UConn. You kind of, after the show today, I want to go over booking ideas with you. This is bullshit. This is great. Uh, voiceover work yeah. and best stuffs. Sounds good. Chris? Yeah? Um, would you run out and get me a ginger tea? <laughs> I don't even know where to get a ginger exactly. tea. Exactly. Take all day if you need to. When he needs a ginger tea. He needs it now. Come on, Chris. I want a redheaded tea, dude. I, I'm going to have to... <sighs> Gonna You're gonna to have Google. to fucking think I'm, for once. I'm gonna have to Google that then. Ginger oh, tea. You have to work today, yeah. Stanley? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, luckily, we can't harass you sexually the way we want to. <laughs> All right, we gotta wrap this one up. Uh, I gotta do anything after the show today, Chris? You have to see a movie. Oh, I mean, anything that I gotta hang around here for. Uh, just for one moment. I just need you to cut something for me. To, uh, if it's voiceover work? It's VO work, yeah. Hand it over to UConn. <laughs> nice. I'm not thinking about changing his name to Johnny UConn. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Johnny UConn's workload's expanded exponentially in the last <laughs> yeah. 10 minutes. I got two ideas for him. Either we call him Johnny UConn or Chris Stanley, the real one. <laughs> I prefer Johnny UConn. <laughs> All right, Johnny. No, I'll for him. You that. For, for you, Johnny UConn's uh, in the booth. Too late. You, you, you already it. said. You another, already prefer. It's that or tits. It's that or you eat another hot pepper. No, it's fine. Call me Johnny UConn. Johnny UConn it is. The other night, I was going through that uh, basil and all that, and there was a couple of peppers in the bag, and I just started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> really? To yeah. yes. so my pain. Yes. I was laughing at how stupid your pain was. You bring joy to people it wasn't stupid it was just a mistake is all all right why don't we call you this we'll call yeah. you you want to be called johnny yukon or tits johnny yukon i would prefer okay <laughs> you got it johnny all you gotta do is give somebody mm -hmm. the second worst idea